Hey fun fans and welcome back to another episode of Finalysis, the show where we break down strategies that happen in first every single week. My name is Lasso Yufraz, alumni and mentor for Team 5431 Titan Robotics out here in Texas. In this episode we will be going over the current world record that took place at Contra Costa Regional event this past weekend, playoff match 7 with the score of 268, unpenalized score of 262. We see that triple offense really worked over here uh, with uh, Gravitech just uh, doing level 1, kind of staying out of the way of Mad Town and Citrus Circuits, really helped Citrus Circuits and Mad Town be able to do everything that they possibly can. They will do algae as well as fill up the reef. So let's dive into Rescape on this episode of Analysis. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details. Before we begin, I want to give a shout out to Michael Crusetto, the head coach, lead technical mentor, and drive coach of Team 1670 Citrus Circuits. Michael's on our recent episode of Roundup this past Monday and talked a little bit about the strategy that went on during playoffs at Contra Costa. So jumping into this match, we have Alliance 1 versus Alliance 4 for match 7 of playoffs. Now, uh, to introduce the teams, we have Team 1323, Madtown the Robotics, who was the Alliance captain. Uh, both uh, won both of their events already, uh, Silicon Valley and Contra Costa. We also have their first pick, Team 1678 Citrus Circuits, as I mentioned before. Uh, again, thank you, Mike, for the information that led into this high-scoring match. Uh, one team that we do not see on the field is Team 649 um, Messet Fish. Uh, they were the second uh, pick of this alliance, but as you can see right now, they're not playing in, uh, with Alliance 1. We actually have Team uh, 6619 uh, Gravitech X that is playing. Uh, they were the backup team that was picked up. Uh, in their uh, first match, um, well, a big, a big uh, background that was provided by Mike, uh, six, uh, 649 was originally picked up at, to be played defense. And they played great defense, uh, Madtown, uh, was alliance with them at Silicon Valley, so Manton had a bit of background about them, so that was one of the main uh, driving factors for the alliance to pick up um, 649. Uh, but as uh, they were diving into uh, into their second match, which is match 7, they kind of realized that uh, the alliance that they were going up against is more of a... Um, can basically do everything. So they needed an extra offense, ro offensive robot. So that's when they picked up uh, Gravitech X uh, 6619 from the backup pool, which they played off, played amazingly in the um, offensive phase. Really uh, amazing L1, and uh, was also able to deep climb, which really helped uh, for them to gain uh, this high score. But later down in playoffs, they were going up against uh, the Lions. Was basically going up against. Uh, Alliance 2, so they uh, decided to go back uh, with 649 to play defense against Alliance 2, uh, so that's why uh, this was the only match we see Gravitech X uh, play. But overall, let's go, let's go through the entire strategy that went on in this match over here. So as we can see, let's go back to the very beginning uh, into Autonomous over here. We can see, right, we see Mad Town and Citrus Circuits both uh, both placing in the L4, while we see uh, Gravitech X uh, place in the level 1. This helped, uh, of course, gain the necessary points needed heading into this match. Finished with uh, 8 uh, level 4s and 1 uh, level 1. 
let's head back to right at the end. We can see up here uh, there is eight level fours, and then they also counted the one level one down here by Gravitech. As we continue uh, this match going forward, we can see that uh, both uh, first Madtown picked up an algae and is going to score it into the barge. As we can see, same with um, Citrus. They went and had and also placed a barge. So as of right now, they got two balls, two algaes in the in the barge. And they kept on scoring uh, Coral as well. They did the strategy of place Coral, pick up algae, score it in the barge, until essentially there was no algae left on the field. Of course, they kept on scoring as they possibly can. As we can see now, they've already scored... Uh, well, they Madtown unfortunately missed that one algae, but there's already no algae left on the, the reef anymore. Now there's only the three algaes that are left on the lollipops uh, at the beginning of the match, and then also this one algae that was um, uh, missed by Madtown. But but they will uh, pick that algae back up later down the line. Uh, spoiler alert, they actually place all nine algaes uh, into, the, um, into the barge by the end of this match. But as we can see, keep on placing in uh, the coral onto the to the reef. Uh, Gravitech is continuing to uh, pick up all the ground uh, core that they possibly can, score in level one. They scored a total of um, nine Teliop Coral in this match, which, uh, which did help them gain a lot of points in this match. Uh, you can see uh, Gravitech is a bit slow, but still really well at level one. There goes Madtown and Citrus placing their, uh, their leftover algae, but once one algae did bounce over, but then uh, Citrus Circuit wins to, goes back to uh, pick up another one and place it back into the barge. Uh, as they continue uh, going, we see Citrus is picking up that final piece of algae on, side of, on uh, their side of the field. So there we go. Now, this is a total of nine algae over here. One of them did come from the human player. Uh, but now from there on, we can see that uh, they're just finishing filling up that reef over here. Uh, while we also see Gravitech in the middle of the field already going to climb. They are able to deep climb, so this entire alliance uh, has the ability to deep climb, which really helped benefit this alliance to be able to score that uh, high score that we now have. So we, we just see both Madtown and uh, Citrus finishing up that reef uh, with only just uh, one left. That, there we go. Citrus just placed the last coral onto that reef. And now they're all going to climb. We can see in the middle over here, Madtown's up, Gravitech's up, Citrus Circuits is up. All three robots on the red side of the field have now officially deep climbed. Now, timer's over. Um, we got, as of right now, with a uh, clock zero, let's finish until these lights turn off. There we go, lights turned off. Now all these climbs have now officially been counted. Um, so it will take a bit for the live scores to update. Go straight to the end, but we got Red Alliance for the win with final score of 268. Uh, sorry, sorry, 260, yes, 268. So we see we got the they got the leave um, and the coral as well. I'm going to change my color to red real quick. So, 9 for the leave, 188 for the coral. There was a total of 9 coral placed in auto, uh, giving them 59 points uh, from auto. And then from there on, they also got 122 in teleop for their uh, te uh, coral as well there. Algae, there was a total of 9 algae, which equaled that 36, and then as well as 3 deep climb that scored that 36. There was also that penalty over here, uh, that major foul, uh, but uh, we still got an unpenalized high score of 262, which is still 
our current world high score. So we can see uh, in this that triple offense is very uh, valuable uh, if you have the right team as well as no defense, essentially. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the triple offense strategy that um, that Alliance 1 used. Also, the, uh, them grabbing Gravitech really uh, benefited them. Um, I wish we were able to see more of them play, but the strategy led them to do uh, use 649 for the rest of playoffs to play defense as they were basically playing against Alliance 2 for the rest of the playoff matches. So congratulations to Alliance 1 for winning the Contra Costa Regional and congratulations on the high score. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or a $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free, scan the QR code, or go to altair.com contest for further details. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and frontrunners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu first.